I think the Nets might be the scariest team in the NBA, honestly. Like, if everything clicks between everybody, there's no – nobody's missing games, everybody's healthy, everybody's confident. Like, the Nets, to me, seem like the scariest team. It's the, the Bucks, bro. Because they're a mystery still. You it's know, the there's Bucks. still a bit of a mystery because you don't know where Ben Simmons are going to be. You know, people – and also, I think people think there's a lot of dysfunction there, so – Bucks. I don't know. Like, I just Bucks, are, scary, Bucks are the scariest. Bucks scare me more than the Nets. Well, no, the what's Bucks are my favorite Bucks? to win the East. Yeah, I don't, so but I don't find them the scary. Bucks? I think they're just yeah, like the just, dominant so force in the, the East. I find them scary. Are you kidding me? But what's so scary about them? They haven't added that anybody. They are looking like they're yeah. going to be the best team in the East. But they're Why? the same team that won the. You know, I don't. Think I'm not talking I about agree. standings. I don't care where they finish. They still look like the scariest team in the East. Why? Like how? Why, what do you yeah. mean why? I'm the host. Why are you asking me questions? Why do you think? Why do you not think? <laughs> you gave an opinion. I'm just asking why you think that. Because I just said because they look the scariest. Based on what? But how do they? Based look on the looking scary. scary. They look, they Have you they ever gone out on scary. Halloween and people are wearing <laughs> scary masks? Why does that person look scary? Yo, JD, I got you. Thank you, Ron. They look, they look, they look, they look the scariest because they have the best player in the NBA. There we go. I mean, when we look at when we look at the other teams, when we look at the other teams in the NBA, I mean, in the East, I mean, the Boston Celtics got Malcolm Brogdon, which was a good improvement. That's scary. Uh, The Sixers right now with getting P.J. Tucker, James Harden looking healthy. That also looks scary. The Brooklyn Nets, I would have to see more of it. But if J-Rob says it all works out, that would probably be scary. Milwaukee Bucks is the same team that it was last year, so I don't know how they. No, bro, not. and that's they're, what asked you. Here, I'll answer your question. Brooklyn? I will answer your question. Here's why they scare me the most: the chemistry going into this season, another year with uh, the majority of the same guys. So these guys are all on the same page. They know how to play basketball together on both sides of the floor. That's the other aspect: is on both sides of the floor, they are pretty elite on the offensive side and the defensive side. Giannis is one of if not the best player in the NBA, I'll give him top three because it's Luka Doncic is the best player in the NBA. And if all the, just the compositions in the NBA, like looking at all the teams, they have the best fits in building around Giannis, in my opinion. So they just scare me the most and like everything fits so well in that playing together for so long, like those are typically the, they're going to be at the top of, their divisions and they're gonna fin- they're gonna go deep into the playoffs. Just on that alone, sometimes. Don't disagree. They're gonna look. They're gonna be deep in the playoffs, but I'm mean, it's not scary. It's the same team we've seen for the years I past. Just, yeah, yeah. I just think, okay, I so just, two years ago they won the NBA championship. They last wasn't year, scary. Last it wasn't year, scary that they, year. They weren't scary. All right, Whoa. for sure. Well, they won okay, the NBA that, championship. The Brooklyn Nets were the favorite to come out the East that year. And why that did was they come out the East? Team. Because they got hurt. Okay, and why did they come out last year? Because James Harden wasn't there. Okay, for sure. So it's always some shit with Brooklyn. Now we're going to talk is. about some team where it's not some shit with them. That Yo, two so years just... ago, they won the championship. Last year, if Chris Middleton doesn't get injured, they beat the Celtics. They were And they were up against the Celtics, too. You're returning back that same team. If they're healthy, bro, it's it's the Bucks are the clear-cut favorite. Yeah, no, I, I don't, don't disagree so. with that. I think the Nets are the scariest because I still think they're like – there's still a mystery there, right? Like, there's – I think there's one there's one side of the spectrum that thinks well they're going to implode amongst themselves and not make any noise, and then there's those who are on the other side, which I'm probably leaning towards. Where like, how good can they really be if they if they can be a real cohesive unit? You know, I think adding Ben Simmons as much as people want to talk about his shooting, him defensively at the end of the day, is a significant upgrade for... It's one of the best defenders in the NBA. Yeah, for for an area that they were really deficient at, and they got the perfect upgrade in that area. So I just... I mean, you got Kevin Durant and and Kyrie Irving. Like, I think they they could be scary. I mean, I think the only mystery in terms of, like, for me, is the bench. I'm not really too sure who's going to be like that if their bench is going to be consistent enough to compete with some of the better they, teams in the East. They East grabbed West. some more pieces, though. They they got yeah. Royce, O'Neal, Royce O'Neal. They got TJ Warren. Uh, oh, they don't even get me O'Neal. started on Royce The thing O'Neal. is, though, my only thing about TJ Warren is, <laughs> look, to me, that the bubble guy is who he was. Like, I don't know if TJ Warren is going to be TJ Warren because if TJ Pat- Warren could be bubble TJ Warren, I got the Nets got to be a favorite. Here's here's explosive of a score. This is what their depth charts looking like 
as of today. Kyrie Irving, Joe Harris, Kevin Durant, Ben Simmons, Nick Claxton. Second would be Patty Mills, Seth Curry, Royce O'Neal, TJ Warren, Dayron Sharp. And then they've got Cam Thomas and Markeith Morris. Man, they just well need to the They got Markeith Morris. They need another big. Oh, they they do need like another center. I don't yeah, know they why really they don't have uh, Drummond back. If I, I, I would definitely yeah, they need a, Drummond back. They need, they need a big. Dayron Sharp, 6'9". He, he just he just a young, young boy. He said young, TJ Warren young. for six men of the year. That's not ridiculous. That could happen. I don't young. know. I'm gonna say it's ridiculous. <laughs> I'm not Why? sure about six man of the year. Why? He's gonna be he's probably gonna be the first one off the bench. I mean, yeah, but I mean, I just don't see it. How I mean, I don't... he comes off the bench scoring nineteen? Why couldn't he win? He I mean, bro, the most that. successful we've seen <laughs> him was in the most successful we've seen him was in a bubble. I mean, he was good on the Pacers, but I wouldn't say like six man of the year where they don't think he got 19 off the bench. You still got Patty not, Mills I'm that's off the bench that still bro. needs to be fed. I'm just saying. We're not saying it's going to happen. I'm just saying. It's not you gonna asked me happen. why. You you asked me why. I got to tell you why. <laughs> but you said it was like, I'm bugging. Like, it's not feasible. You said 19 points off the bench. I think that's bugging to me. I mean, they got to have a third scorer. You know what I'm saying? They like, got Patty look, Mills and Joe Harris on the court. Do we think Ben Simmons is going to be the third leader scorer on the team? Yeah, but, he that, get I, I do. Uh, I do. Seth so? Curry. They got Seth I, I, Curry. I, I, they got I got, Bills. Be, I they got Joe Harris. Well, yeah, yeah. I think it's going to be Seth Seth Curry or Patty Mills that would be the third leading scorer on that team. I think Ben Simmons is going to play more of a facilitating role and Man. like be dominant on the defensive end. He doesn't Man. need to worry about offense. There's no re- if Ben Simmons is your third leading scorer, I think you actually have an issue. <laughs> No, with that, with that, the way that that roster is built, the way that that roster is built, I mean, the roster is built for him to excel. You got a exactly. bunch of shooters on the court. Lie, that ben is open probably going to get the most, the, the best spacing he's ever had in his he career. Is. On this so team, he could right? have 16 points off of layups and dunks because like, the, let's not the forget floor is Ben be Simmons so always averaged his most points when Ben when uh, MB was off the floor because the spacing was better. Valid point. I just I don't know. I. I don't see Ben Simmons being the third. Maybe he will. I, I, I just don't see. I'm just I just a don't host. See T- host. I, I just don't see TJ Warren having 19 on that team. That that's all. He I could think. be if he could be 85 percent of what he was in that bubble. Son, he could be, he could be has he ever for, been 85 percent of that? I don't think so. Career? No, I know. I'm. I, agree. <laughs> I don't. No, I, like I still think that was the biggest anomaly of the bubble was TJ Warren by far. <laughs> Play a choice, boy. Yeah, them boys don't get it started. The play a choice, boy.